when I was 15, my grandmother always had this problem. She has this like um, light powered by kerosene and the smoke keeps coming out and run, gather some solar panel and then inst like just remove the kerosene aspect and then put like a solar panel and then connect that to the LED lights in the glass chimney and that's what she's been using till today. People like my dad, my mom and my siblings have two or three phones and with that so a household and we have like a very big family so a household probably have like 10 to 12 phones in total and the problem is keeping those phones charged because um, we have blackout for like sometimes a week sometimes a month and in terms of those times you want to have your phone because I mean that is how people pay my mom now and that's how they pay taxes and that's how they call medical services and so we're just trying to like solve that problem of um, being able to provide a reliable source of power just to charge their phones because phone is a very big thing in Ghana. It's not only just a small device that you can just toss around. It's something that is very powerful to people. A unique design that you leave it in the sun for two days and then you get to charge your phone for a month. We had so much financial problem like were selected as finalists for uh, an African business pitch in Harvard, which we went for, and we had no money. And when I went to the president's office, within two days, they were like, yeah, we're giving you funding. We went to the dean's office, and Michael said, this is a good opportunity. All done. Talk to Karen, and she'll give you the money. And I feel like that really helped a lot. I think about innovation much more in the area of solving a problem rather than coming up with something original or something mind-blowing or whatever. It's all about solving those little problems that people face every day.